Hello, everyone. We are back at Rain Code. So, that poor eyed detective was sleeping next to a dead body. Anyways, yeah, last time we figured out a bunch of stuff. We figured out that apparently Zilch is the one behind stuff. Supposedly. Don't really know how much truth there is to that, but it definitely seems like there's quite a bit of it. Hard to tell, but anyways. Auto mode. I'm gonna pretend I didn't hear that. Yeah, I'm gonna pretend I didn't hear that either for the sake of my simping. I gotta say it's kind of fun oh okay. Oh. Simulation of what we went through. He got up once the smoke screen was ready. He took the corpse out from under the blanket, pulled the knife out of the cushion, and stabbed it. Oh, I thought it was a... Uh, I thought they were that under way, the bed. Even Whoops. after he switched with the corpse, he could just hide to avoid me. Where did Detective Four Eyes hide after that? Was he just behind her under the bed? In some place with easy access, which must mean under the bed. Under the bed, he could have quickly hid there. Yeah, I guess so. Which means, if you checked under the bed at the time, you would have caught that four-eyed idiot. Huh. Well, something to think of for future cases. That'd be really funny if someone else used that concept in a future one. Dude, pre I, I just find the auto button but so funny. Then, the L is like almost off of the UI. Master detectives. I'm sure he calculated all that too. He knew I'd panic. Maybe he was planning to take advantage of you from the very beginning, and that's why he let you live. Could be. Yeah, I think Zilch was the one who peeked into the restroom while I was sleeping there. Sounds likely. I was supposed to be sleeping in the infirmary, so he must have planned to move me before committing the crimes. I passed out in the restroom, but that didn't hinder his plans, so he went with it. Speaking of which, wasn't it Detective Four Eyes who told you to go to the first car? Yeah. Huh. He must have planned to make me witness everything and set me up as the culprit. Oh, there is a bit of lip flaps on that. That's nice, Aha! nice detail. I think I'm starting to see the whole picture now. Not bad, Master. Maybe you were a big shot detective before you lost your memories. Hard to tell. No. If I really was a great detective. I would have caught the culprit in the infirmary before any of this happened. True. I guess so. Well, I guess it wouldn't be before any of this happened, because everyone was still dead before you woke up, probably. By the way, where did he get the corpse he was hiding in the blanket? The corpse? Well, um... See, that's what my hang up was. If there was only six people on the train, then... Maybe he was... Maybe... Well, it was signs of life, I guess. Like, that's what freaking Aphex's thing was. It was signs of life within a certain radius, yeah? So, maybe what it was is there was a person already dead? Yeah, actually, maybe that's what it was. Actually, yeah, 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 yeah. Because number... Car 5, there was the blood on the lock. We couldn't get into car 5 until after everything else happened, yeah? Yeah. So what my thought is, is that maybe some there was a, actually a seventh person on here for something. Maybe someone working for like the detective agency and they were killed by Zilch. And then that car got locked off and there was just a dead person chilling back there for a long time until Zilch, until after Zilch killed everyone else and then moved to the person he killed before everyone else to the infirmary to use as a body double. Hey, I did it. Ah, again? I won't let you go any further. Hm, getting in our way again, huh? B. If you stand against my ruthless master, he'll chop you up and stir fry you with veggies for dinner. Real. You will not. Yuma, do what she says. So I appreciate you trying to be a nice, upstanding citizen, but sometimes you need to stir-fry the baddies. Alright, back to it. Ooh. 
Resident Deathmatch. Resident Deathmatch. Huh? Yeah. Assist? It's the rule of the mystery labyrinth to assist hey. whoever you're accompanying. Now look, oh, looks like Whoops. you might not need assist after all, Master. This could be the clincher. When a partner's assist is activated, mystery phantom statement won't inflict any damage. Oh, okay. So I can, I can just pay closer attention. Nice. ZR, gotcha. Poochie's corpse, Alex's corpse, Zonge's. That is uh, not a helpful statement. You think he swapped with a corpse? It'd be impossible to switch like that. Wanna bet? Someone who could replace Silt would need to be the same size as him. He didn't have a bag that could carry a corpse. It would have been caught at the station. It'd be impossible to get it on board. There was no corpse to replace anyway. Uh, no corpse to replace. No corpse to replace, no corpse to replace. Oh! That's what it was! It was Aphex's! That's why there was a stab wound! Or, wait. Maybe? Maybe not. I don't know. And, anyways. Get owned! That's what it was! How to use my brain. There's no need to bring an extra corpse for the swap. He just needed to reuse a dead body on the train. Now this is what we call critical thinking, chat. It's Apex's body from the fifth car. He and Zilch are nearly the same height, and both have stab wounds in their chests. So the corpse that was switched was Apex's. Ah, damn it! How could someone like you find the truth? My question is, how do you even move that corpse so much? Because... My only... Th uh, I don't know. Because they had to... They had to have gotten around us. Because we were in car one when the body was in there. And then somehow, Aphex's body was brought back to car five. My only thought is that when the lights flickered or whatever, you know, when the lights went off for a bit, maybe Zilch snuck by us then with Aphex's corpse and brought it to car five. I don't know. It's hard to say, but that's the only thing I can think of. Are you? Oh, that's dead, dead. Ladder. Now we don't have to fight anymore. Good. Even if that's true, don't let your guard down. Mystery Labyrinth isn't over yet. Stay alert until the very end. Are you ready for oh, Snake God. Eater, Yuma? Have you ever played Metal Gear 3? What a thrill. I make this joke every he let's play. What a thrill. Oh, and we're climbing, wow. it's all oh, of the time. For a body swap. For real. Thinking back, the reason the corpses in the first and fifth cars were burnt was to switch them out. But the corpse was so badly burned that I couldn't tell it was Aphex. That must be what the necklace was for, so I could identify him. Huh. Well, reusing a corpse is rather environmentally friendly of the culprit, don't you think? I mean, we gotta oh my gosh. recycle everything in our day and age, so you gotta get the most value out of corpses too, you know? I would say that makes sense, but girl, what are you cooking? Hmm. I can't even defend that one, girl. All right, what are we going to next? Up and up and out, up into the next stage. What we what we roll on? Oh my gosh! I was kind of joking when I said snake eater. Oh. We are now on a train. 
Zilch? Oh. Oh, we just confronted the culprit. Wait. I am not the culprit. I am a victim who was already killed. Oh, so interesting. We get to, like, confront the culprit inside the labyrinth. That's kind of sick. I'm glad they kind of do this, actually, because otherwise it just would have been like, okay. So we found the culprit. Too bad we're not actually going to get to, like, confirm it with them because they are dead as hell. I wonder how this is going to work for future cases, though, where, you know, the culprit's actually going to be alive. Sorry, I had to check my... I have a heated blanket on, and it so doesn't feel like it's working as much. Alone. Oh, is he going to run? Chase sequence. Yeah. You said the body in the first car's infirmary wasn't me, but Apex? Ow. But you went to car five after car one and discovered his corpse there. How was the corpse transported from car one to car five? That'd require moving past See, you. See, that, that was something I thought of. That's right. If he slipped past us, when did that happen? It's got to have happened when the lights went out. Or when we enter the tunnel or something. Which, considering we're going atop a train, is feels like very fitting knowledge to have to talk about. <laughs> Gotta do my jumps. Moshi mosh. Next stop. The Atlantic. Whoa, this is cool. Yo, wait, this is really cool. What the hey? Hey, girl. Upskirt shot. You am staring at her ass. Two forks. Oh my god, the backwards UI. That's cool. Another mystery that needs to be solved. Hmm? Could we go and get by inside or outside? I think it was inside. Is this it? Thinking about it rationally, we have to assume that they carried the corpse through the train. No, that's impossible. 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 I really should look up all the VAs for the for the character for you know the characters in this chapter eventually. Just because I just want to know who they are, even if they aren't well-known VAs. It's nice to just become more well known cuz I, I don't think i really impossible. recognize that most impossible. of them impossible 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 oh cool now we're going to see him instead instead of just that one guy Roa's stance oh, this turned into a mystery phantom get him master boom kill him so hard his relatives get bruises Damn, co splash damage on the family line? Shinigami, you're brutal. Like, this is next level brutal. Alright, let's see what he has in store. There he be. Resolute Death March. Blackout and shaking. Yeah, it's definitely that one. From car one to car five. Just think about it. Okay, that's one we currently have equipped already. The train's halls are quite narrow. The corpse is heavy enough as it is. Lugging a corpse Ooh. through that hallway. You would certainly have noticed. That means your deduction is all wrong. I'll say it once more. What the? Ooh, freaky. The corpse from car one to car five. There's nothing there for me to slash. 
Plus, when we investigated the private rooms, we kept the doors open for security. If someone had passed through the hallway, I probably would have noticed. They would have had to sneak past me, too. There's no way anybody got through that corridor. If we're certain nobody used that corridor, then the corpse must have been brought in from outside the train, not inside. Huh? So, the culprit would need to be able to pass by us without being noticed. Oh, yeah. What are you mumbling about? Just admit that your deductions were utter nonsense. RGB man's going too hard right now. So did I actually just choose the ro the wrong thing? Nope. Okay. We're still chilling. If they did and pass through the train. Did you think the corpse was brought in from outside? Ow. The windows are all locked shut. That's true. The doors lock when the train is moving. We know the train never stopped once. If the windows and doors are shut, there's no way to get out while Oh, I can do like a mid-air slash. No issues occur during the train's operation. Out of here. Be gone. No, there was something strange. The blackout and shaking that happened when I was in car two and... Uh, when the blackout occurred and the shaking started, I'm certain something else happened in the train. Maybe it has something to do with the mystery of the moving corpse. <laughs> Don't be stupid. So what if there was a little blackout and some gentle swaying? I do kind of have to wonder why it happened twice, though. All right, what do we got this time? Distorted plate, bloodless blanket. Forget the shaking. This music is really good, by the way. It's placed over the corpse. Yeah, definitely this. In the blackout. They were nothing but coincidences. Are you sure about that? Oh, was that it? Shaking was the tunnel air pressure. There's nothing odd about that. It's all just a coincidence. It's impossible to include that in a criminal plot. Okay, yeah, I was definitely just that one. Come on. No. It's no coincidence. The culprit planned all of it. Forget the sh blackout. They planned the coincidences. No, it was just a bad contact. All right, here we go. Get out. I'll slash through this mystery. Hey, we're winning. That's how it sounds sped up. Sadly, I'm not good at no, speaking in high didn't pitch. Because of a connection failure, it was due to the main control system failing and switching to the backup control system. True. The blackout occurred during that one second when the system switched over. I'm still waiting for Yuma to get his bucket hat that I've seen on, like, promo art. Wild to think that... Still wild to think that this is just the frickin' first hey, case of the game. Clean Phantom is a bad Phantom! Is there such a thing as a good Phantom? After him! You gotta keep solving the mystery and boom kill that mystery Phantom! I, I, he's getting choked. It should have been me, not him. It's not fair. Master, you may know the cause of the blackout, but what does that have to do with how the corpse was moved? I swear, any shot they do, her tits are right in my peripheral. The failed main control system was in car one, where the body swap occurred. If so, then the main control system's failure must have something to do with moving the corpse. So maybe the culprit broke the main control system. He must have attempted to stop the train to bring in the corpse from the outside. Hey, yep. But the train never stopped. The operation log confirms the train was moving the entire time. So I don't think he broke the system to bring the corpse in. Then why did the main control system... Hmm. Whoops. 
It didn't mean to skip. Something to do with moving the body. But you're unsure exactly Nar how. Huh. In that case. Get back here, shocker! Ah. Never mind. I knew it. A mystery is blocking you. Oh my gosh, it's Mario Party 6. I have to punch and kick the boulder. Anything blocking you in here is also a mystery. So let's solve it to keep on going. My bro is not doing too good. Okay, well this time it's not at least the chain isn't connected to her freaking hips. Kill. Main control system was lost when car one was. So this is the question we're facing right now. The main control system must have failed because something happened in the first car. If that's true, what exactly happened? If it's related to the body being moved, then how? <sighs> hmm. Master's expression is so serious. He must be thinking hard. Well, as his mentor, I better think hard too. <laughs> The main control system failing, the blackout, the train shaking. The second I hear this music go on, I just know that she is going to come up with something f humorous. Oh yeah, why did the train shake like that? There was a blackout right before entering the tunnel that was caused by the main control system failing. But the culprit didn't destroy it, so the blackout happened because, uh, oh, uh, wasn't there some shaking right before the blackout too? After the whole train shook, the blackout. She is trying her best. Ah, I don't get it. That's right. She's trying the train her best. Right before the blackout. We still don't know what caused that to happen. Yeah, that's kind of... I thought it was an explosion or something, but... Whatever it was, it was strong enough to make the entire train shake. It caused the main control system to fail and resulted in a blackout. If it had something to do with moving a body, then what must have happened was... Ooh! Did I give you the assistance you needed? Close to solving the case now? Then it's time to combine our powers and solve this thing! I gotta say, I really... I enjoy it when there's just the facial expression. There's just her with, like, a question mark on her head. It's a real good portrait. Let's go, Master! Lay it all out! Oh, no, not again. Are you ready to play the Shinigami puzzle? Was lost when car one was... Uh You can do it. All right. Happened to the train which Oh. Maybe where's an R? No, not that. Ah, uh, crap. Room map. Uh, okay. Shoot. Wait. It wouldn't be that, uh, surely. Okay, nope. Was. Fuck. This is it. Johari Da? Oh no. Labyrinth from the beginning. That's so rude, dude. In various places, the human doesn't have the courage to verify himself. Thank you much. Alright, luckily I can speed through all this at least. And I get to see him get, lose his freaking. get his head chopped again. Main control was lost when car one was. Try to solve it, lickety split. Carwan was. Maybe something happened to the train when it shook. 
Did it switch to the backup because car one was gone? Re... Oh. That's what it is. Is there an eye? No. Okay. It's... Oh, that's what it is. That's right. Okay, now I get it. That one took me a while. I wasn't expecting to be using this much of it. Nice. There we go. This is better. Twirling. There we go. And then that just leaves you detached. There we go. Took a while enough. Oh, she has a different pose every time. That's cute. Go, white girl, go. I can say it because she's pale as all hell. Pew! Could it be that the first car was separated from the train? Huh? Separated? What? Seriously? That's kind of wild. Yeah. The reason why the main control system failed was because... Wait, didn't you end up going to car one though, Yuma? Like, after it was all parked? The first car was cut off from the rest of the train we were riding in. Let's keep going for now. Yeah, this kind of sounds wild. Um, Master, I don't really get it. What do you mean the first car was cut off? The shaking happened just before the blackout, right? Huh? Did it just shake? Okay, good. I thought that was me walking too fast and the game just continued. What was that? The lights went out for a moment and came back up? Yep. At that time, the first car was disconnected from the rest of the Amaterasu Express. As a result, the main control system failed, and after a brief blackout, it switched to the backup. But why cut off the first car? Why go through all that trouble? Of course, to move the body in the go train in. car. To do that. <gasps> oh, is that what it was? Did the root? Was there some weird stuff done with the root to change the order of the cars? Maybe. Ah! That's why. Oh my gosh. That's why the car. That's why that one car was burnt to a crisp and had and had that thing taken off. You know the uh what you call it? The plate, the plate for the car. The one that we thought was car 5. It got Earth swapped around, yeah? They like deleted they like charted the absolute hell out of that one cabin in order to hide that how much longer will this keep happening i feel like i'm going to suffocate poor yuma now is not the time to be suffocating what a coco head you can't suffocate you need to get decapitated Again? transport a lot of the entire uh, yeah i know what it is this time cut off so that the body could be moved Right. I think I see what happened. Transport along with the entire car. Alright. Attempt number two. This one this one's easy mode though. Are you ready to play the Shinigami puzzle? Great. C A Where is it? Where is it? R Easy peasy. That one I got easy. Hamana, 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 hamana. The fact that they make her do a bunch of different poses makes it way more entertaining, I guess? I don't know. 
I don't think I'm I don't think I'm too horny core, but at the same time, who knows? That's right. He transported the corpse using the entire first car. That's why the first car was disconnected. So the first car became the fifth car, the fifth car became the fourth car, and so on. Transported the corpse with the entire car? This is pretty what nuts is for a first. Oh my gosh. Damn, that design change, though. That's cool. I guess this, this the is the finale, then. Is at the front of the train. Aphex's corpse was in the fifth car, in the back. Uh, nope. I'm pretty sure things got flippity doo -dah or flippity day. Even if you detach the front car, how do you move it all the way to the rear? Oh, I know how that is. This is where the route map finally comes into play, yeah? Uh, um... Uh... Master, don't be scared. Lots of villains transform after they've been cornered. And yet she's scared too. Stay calm. Think. How could you swap the position of the first and fifth cars? If I can answer that, I can solve this mystery once and for all. How did it happen? That reminds me. Master, earlier when you were talking about the shaking and mentioned the blackout... Blackout only happened once, but the shaking happened twice. Yep. The blackout happened once, but the shaking happened twice. The second shaking was when they reconnected, I bet. Yeah, it definitely shook two separate times. Right before entering the tunnel, and right after leaving it. The first time was when the train car was disconnected. But what about the second? When I was reconnected. Something happened to the train then, too. The shaking at the end of the tunnel felt similar to when car one disconnected. Imagine if Yuma just like m was faster on examining everything. Like he just got to the end and he's just like, well, crap, that's all the cars there is. I can't get into car five. And then another one just appears. There's no point thinking about it. You're stuck in this labyrinth for all eternity. Okay, yeah, Master, sure. Here it comes. You've got to solve the mystery and defeat your deductions aren't worth a damn thing because they're all wrong from the very beginning i'm wondering where the actual zilch is then because he he played dead so he's still around somewhere i guess that's what we got to figure out bro's still chilling everyone else is dead but zilch is still kicking it somewhere It'd be cool if he stuck around for a while. If, like, if he already escaped and, like, if he already escaped and he's still around. Oh, here it is. It's either Someone one of. Shook twice near the tunnel. What of it? You mean the train? Uh, I'm gonna take a guess and say. Root map. Car was separated, connected. Correct. Why would that even matter? Even if you managed to separate car one, how oh. could it be moved to the rear? The train was always running on the same tracks. There's no way to shuffle the train cars around. Get out! This is the truth. Be gone! Be gone from here. That time, not all the cars were moving on the same track. Get him, bestie. The track that the bestie number two express was on separated into double tracks right before entering the tunnel. Yeah, 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 yeah. So by taking advantage of the double tracks, it's possible to switch out the train cars. My man's getting, my man's getting confident. <laughs> Dies of cringe. I do like the fact that they kind of continued the v the V3 trend of making the villains get like another form the eventually. The was before entering the tunnel, which was caused by car one separating. Correct. After that, the separated car one entered the other track, while the rest of the train proceeded on the main track. Yeah. The two tracks rejoin after the tunnel. That's where car one connected to the end of the train. Yep. 
so that means that the one at the front at the end was the yeah that means that car 2 became started to become at the front meaning that the last car was well i guess when we were leaving the last car was the dining car this is when the train shook for the second time you're right the first car moved all the way to the back this is such an insane like like, they really did well for, like, a tutorial case. This is insane. Normally, it's impossible for a single train car to function on its own. But the Amaterasu Express is special. The control system will supply electricity as programmed and drive the train. But all train cars on the train have motors that run autonomously. You're insane! What? Using your method to rearrange the train cars would connect the first car to the end, which would leave it behind the fifth car. In other words, it becomes the sixth car, but that doesn't exist. Huh? So, you're telling me you found Apex's corpse in the non-existent sixth car? Oh, you're right. Do you get it? You're the one who's wrong. Everything you've deduced is wrong. Okay. No, I'm and? not wrong. The truth lies just ahead of us. I will prove it to you. Get him, bestie. Oh, we're doing this again. How many times can we see Shinigami in a bikini? These are the real questions. Try to solve it. Look at his foot. Was uh from the start. I mean, it's a five train, yeah? Nothing sim- You aren't tricking me. Huh? Oh, a four. A four train car. Laser beam. Blast them. Taken Maybe down the a size. Maybe the Express doesn't have five cars. What if there were only four cars to begin with? That's a dupe. I didn't even think of that one. I just kind of bullshit myself and it's like, well, if it isn't five, then maybe it's somewhere like one lower. If that's the case, then to me, car one could be made to look like car five. Okay, yeah, that's what it was. It was car one. And then we moved out of car one. Car one got burned to hell, moved to the end. The reason we couldn't enter car five at first, or that Melanie, I believe, said that we couldn't enter car five was because it didn't exist. And we were just made to believe that there was five. So car one was moved to the end, burned and made basically unrecognizable. Correct. That's why Melami said the fifth car's door was broken while we were in transit. Yeah. But you can't access the fifth car, the one at the end. The door appears to be broken and won't open. Correct. So it wasn't broken. The fourth car was actually the farthest one back from the get-go? I'm sure the real fifth car was left behind at the station when we departed. Oh, so there actually was five cars, but one was just left behind for the sake of the ruse. So the train took off with only four cars. That's there was crazy. Car one at our destination. If it connected upon arrival, then the train would have five cars. So left. that's why it didn't add up. I was thinking like, like I was thinking ever since they talked about this ruse, I was like, wait, but we ran from one end to the to the other, and there was definitely the same type of car and that so would explain why where I was knocked out became the fifth car at the end of the line and when I was questioned by the peacekeepers the car one there was another car prepared at the station specifically for this plot oh my the gosh one was waiting at the station's platform and all the peacekeepers there would have noticed it so they were all in on it yep or you can assume that the P 
peacekeepers themselves or the ones who prepared the other car one corrupted police <laughs> if there is another car one then there will be something that sets it apart from the original car one for example the way the window glass was broken in the infirmary will be different from how i broke it you mean oh the shit i'm sure to smash the infirmary's window so they knew you would do that that's how they were able to imitate it in the new car one? Oh my gosh i think i was set up to reach for that fire extinguisher the fire extinguisher was left in a conspicuous spot in the hallway they wanted me to use it to break the window good lord the thought they put into all this the first and fifth cars while in transit it was all a trap to set me up as the culprit isn't that isn't right? right zilch owned <laughs> Utterly decimated. All right. We're almost there. Let's catch this culprit. Understood. The finale approaches. That was a pretty solid deduction. Yo, the music? Mm -hmm. Very impressive. Of me for seeing your potential. It's so strange. Fushigi. It doesn't feel like I'm learning this stuff, more like I'm remembering it. Maybe I was even a high-ranking detective in the WDO. You'll never know. Now's no time for bragging. You still gotta catch him. Or maybe you will know. Oh my right. gosh, the stairs. Dude, this music, though. Man, am I glad I got the spe- Well, that my mother got me the special edition of this game. Thanks, Mom. Because, oh my gosh. I very much want to listen to the CD eventually. That's a long way up. feels different here. This is just the calm before the storm. Be careful. You don't know what's going to happen next. Definitely literal calm before a storm. You know, Plenty of giant clouds. Like was a really big trick to pull off. I'm surprised the train cars could disconnect and reconnect so smoothly. The train's automatic operating system must have had it programmed before we departed. Even the trick with the swapping train car? Kind of worked. Probably. It had Still got a while to go, I guess. Well, it'd be easy for Amaterasu. They own the train. True. That's what I'm worried about. Even if I obtain the truth here, won't they just ignore what I say and arrest me anyway? I would. Yeah. I keep telling you not to worry about it. As long as you have the truth, the culprit can't escape. What makes you, you think be that? So sure of that? Yeah, exactly. Oh, there we are. I'm glad the game skipped me up to the end. Damn, this place looks cool, though. What is this? Looks like a fort to me. With this kind of protection, I bet the truth is in there for sure. I just have to destroy it. So, the truth is here you can't have the truth wanna bet it's impossible to destroy this fortress just give up and leave never <laughs> whenever a culprit takes a last stand like this you know we're just a step away from unriddling this labyrinth sometimes the lighting just does really well on like shinigami which it looks really good here. Master, time to show him how dangerous you really are. After all, he did try to set you up. I'm not worried about that right now. We're so close to the truth. We gotta do this. <laughs> Boom kill time. Banner returns. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's hit it. Whoa. Hey, yo. Oh, hey, hey, whoa. Oh, my gosh. Can you calm down a bit? Oh, 
Oh my. Shinny got me, Vor. Okay, never mind. Oh, we're Bow we're Bowser's inside story that in this stuff. Oh my god. God Shinigami. What if the hell? Tear through all obstacles with the mega size G O D. Great onset destroyer. Me. Oh my gosh. Simply just charge. Phantom Sorceress with a corresponding oh, kick. When an obstacle closes in and the screen slows down, press the what? button to attack. I won't let you have the truth. Ow. I see, I see. And suddenly appear with a corresponding I tackle. Blit. Blit. Go away. Keep up and scram. Hey, right, here we go. I see. With the thorns. Okay, this is kind of cool. Go away. No. Don't come near me. No. 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 Switching the first no. fifth part is just your imagination. It's a completely baseless lie. Based on what? Ever swapped. Destroy the wall with a solution key. a key that co contradicts the phantom statement and boom slash it with master solution blade Use the solution key to smash through the wall master this one huh? Come on. destroyed there are traces of a swap the warped plate from car five. This is so cool. The reason that plate was burned so thoroughly is because originally <laughs> it said car one. <laughs> Giant ass Left fetish. As it, was, it would have <laughs> messed up your plot to make car one look like car five. That's why you made extra sure it was burned beyond recognition. Here I go. Round two. Bam! I burned the plate to disguise it. Get on! No, I didn't do that. Go! He is trying. Stop! Nyom. Good jump. Get away from me! Get away! Get away! Get away! But with it burned, you have no way of knowing what number car it was. Okay, and we're right here, nerd. You're donezo. So For realsies. Up your you have no hard evidence proving that location was the first car. Oh, I bet I know. Like we need another solution key to boom kill him. Good luck, master. Locked from the inside. There was a small amount of. Oh, lock from the inside, huh? It's got to be this one. We haven't used it, and it's been here the whole time. There is proof. The blood stain on the inner lock of the infirmary in car five. The culprit probably didn't notice it, but I remember. It's my blood. Oh. <laughs> what? When I was trying to get into the infirmary in car one. I cut my finger on the glass. They didn't even tell us that. They didn't even tell us that. That was simply just like, you know, using the last piece of info and then Yuma just fills it in. When I reached through to unlock the latch, I must have gotten blood on it. But that blood stain would have been hidden while the inner lock was open. That's probably why the culprit missed it. My blood, which was left behind in car one, was found in car five. This proves that someone pulled off the car switching trick. This Own the them. The case. Huh? This is the truth of the case. I'm not owed.
I kneel. And case solved. Joe da. Adios. See you later. Bye bye, buddy. I'm not done yet. Wanna bet? became car five then where did the culprit supposedly hiding in the infirmary go you had to have checked the fifth car but the culprit wasn't there all right giving us the f the final razzle dazzle of the case huh the culprit must have been hiding somewhere in the fifth car probably someplace safe spot selection huh Zilch hiding. It had to have been here, yeah? This was always locked. Right here. Had to have been here. The culprit was hiding inside the main control room, which was locked shut the entire time. I didn't have the key, so I could never have gotten inside. This I is true. I moved there from the infirmary while car one was running on the second track. If the train's management company, Amaterasu Corporation, was involved, the culprit may have had the key. Hell yeah, buddy. And then they hid in a blind spot I couldn't see from the window. That's how they got past me. No, it's not me. I'm not owned. I'm not the culprit. Great detective work. I call that a critical hit. He seems like he's barely standing. All that's left is to finish him off. Finish him boom off. kill. Boom kill. Boom kill. Shove all your evidence into the solution blade and slash as hard as you can. Oh my god, he's gonna do a Getsuga. Hey, yo. Damn cutscene, though? That's kind of wild. The game will now give us a button mash. Duction den den denouement. Whoa. Oh, this is like, oh, Dane. Oh, this is cool. This is like the freaking. this is just like how they did it in DR. They have like the whole thing lining up how it all worked out. Where the truth is made clear by thinking through all the deductions up until that point. Head, Place the correct piece in the corresponding deduction gap to reveal the truth. The Locked pieces can be opened by, yeah, it's literally just the same thing. Okay. Every gap is filled with the piece, a finale revealing all mysteries will be unveiled. Everything has been leading to this moment. Oh. Interesting. Huh. I mean, you know what? We can make this... Well, how many are there? Where did Yuma rush to? Actually, eh... Oh, it's cool that we get to see see all of this in order. Express ticket, blah blah blah. Whoops, I messed up. And I uh, oop. Here we go. This one. Yeah, there we go. Sorry, I just want to do that. I think we're going to call things here, though. We're going to call things here, and next time on Rain Code, we're going to finish up everything and see what we have in store here. 
I think this is a great thing we can save for the start of the next one. We've made some great progress. We're almost at the very, very end of this. And yeah, I really like this case. The twists have been so out, out of, out of beyond my wildest dreams, you know? Like this is a tutorial case and they're bringing it in this much? Like, yo, dude. It's crazy how good this is. It's almost scary how good it is. Also, damn, this music goes hard. Listen to that bass, though. Anyways, enough jamming for now. Thank you very much for watching. And next time on Rain Code, we're going to finish up the Mystery Labyrinth and hopefully Chapter Zero. Adios, ciao, and bye-bye. Signing off until next time. Ja, mata ne.